This week on Tackle Talk Tuesday, I'll be sharing with you four rigs that every flathead fisherman needs to have in his arsenal. And it starts right now. Hey, what is up everybody? Chris Souter, Slunger Cat Outdoors, back with you again this afternoon. In today's video, I'll be breaking down four rigs that every flathead fisherman needs to have in his arsenal. If you're new to the channel, I want to say thanks for joining. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like the content that we're putting out. Also, hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever I put out new videos. Now, all four rigs that we're going to be talking about today, we're going to be tying them onto 50 pound slime line main line. And we're also going to be using the slime line leader line 80 pound test to be tying them up with. So we're gonna start off with number four. Number four on this list is a rig that I have a lot of confidence in, especially in the springtime of the year. When those fish are coming out of those wintering holes, they're super aggressive, they're not very finicky, really, really hungry, and just looking to put on that feed bag, I go to a three-way style rig. Now, as you can see, this is just the uh, double crane swivel style three-way. I have my main line tied directly in line with my leader line that goes to my hook. That's going to be about 20 to 24 inches down to a Diachi D85. Then you see I got a dropper loop on the other part of the three-way. That's about 12 inches and this is going to vary depending on how high I want my bait to come up off the bottom. And then I just got a cheap barrel swivel with a quick snap to be able to change out my leads depending on current speed or depending on whether I want the lead to be out to the side or straight behind the boat. That's number four. Now, number three is a rig that I have a tremendous amount of confidence in. This is a rig that I go to when times get tough and I can't catch fish or uh, just basically all times throughout the year. This is one of my go-to rigs. This is probably uh, one of my favorite rigs of all time, okay? And the only reason it didn't get number one on this list is because of the summertime finicky flathead bites. But that is my go-to Kentucky rig. Okay, so to start with, you always want to start with a good barrel swivel. I always recommend people to use a pound test rating barrel swivel of at least 100 pounds or more. And then we have about five inches down to our first dropper loop. And then between our first dropper loop and our second is about 18 inches. And both of these have Diachi D85s, seven knots. And then I got about 10 inches to 12 inches from my bottom hook to my sinker. And this will change in length depending on how far you want your first piece of bait to be up off bottom. And then just like a three-way, I got a cheap barrel swivel and a snap to be able to change out my sinkers really fast depending on the size of lead that I need. Now this is one of my all-time favorites just because of its versatility. You can use two different styles of baits. You can use a live bait and a cut bait. You have two different depths that your bait is in. And if you're limited to the number of poles that you can use, you're putting more scent out into the water by having two hooks per line. So the double hook Kentucky rig is one of my top favorites, but it is number three on this list. All right, so we are down to number two on this list. Number two is gonna be one that I have a lot of confidence in because it's kind of like an old faithful style of rig. One that is tried and true and that works all over the country no matter where you're at. Okay, and that is just going to be the regular Carolina rig or sinker slide, slider rig, however, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now what we have is just a regular sinker slide with a soft bead, soft uh, sinker stop. And I highly recommend that you guys use a soft sinker slide or sinker stop versus a hard plastic bead. Uh, that's just going to give more cushion for when that weight comes down and hits your knot. Uh, to where that hard plastic bead is going to beat that knot up just as bad as the sinker slide itself okay down to a good barrel swivel now remember i always recommend that you use a swivel that has a pound test rating on it of at least 100 pounds or more okay 
down to about 20 to 24 inches of leader line and back down to a Diachi D85. Now, this is a good rig uh, for when those fish are right down into the mud. A uh, good live bait rig, cut bait rig, and a rig that is really good for summertime finicky, finicky flathead bites or whenever there's a pressure system that changes dramatically and those fish bury up in the mud. This is kind of a go-to rig for me. Number two. All right, so number one on this list of four, just like number two, is a Carolina style rig. We're gonna start out with a sinker slide, a soft sinker stop, down to a good barrel swivel, 18 to 24 inches, a leader line, down to a Diachi D85, but about five or six inches above the hook, we're gonna tie in a Demon Dragon style float. Now, this is number one on my list because of the summertime bite. Those flatheads in the summertime get super, super finicky. You need a good soft tip, good sensitive rod, and I put a big live piece of bait on. A lot of times in the summertime, the dog days of summer, we're looking for that one really big bite, okay? So I'll tie on a big live gizzard shad, big bluegill, uh, some type of really big live bait. And as that bait just sits down there and moves, it makes a lot of noise and a lot of vibration. And it just drives those fish crazy. They may not eat it because they want to eat it, but they grab it and they crush it because they want to kill it because it's annoying them. And that is the reason that it got number one on my list. So there you go. There's four rigs that every flathead fisherman needs to have in his arsenal. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. And hopefully this helps you catch more and bigger fish. Till next Tuesday, we will catch you guys on the water. God bless and tight lines.